Hi, Chris Wallace from Second Swing. We're in Minnetonka today at our Second Swing Minnetonka location. I'm with James Tracy, one of the master club fitters here. James, how's it going? Going well. You know, Second Swing, known for club fitting, a lot of golfers these days coming around to the idea that club fitting can really help them. Absolutely. But a lot of those same golfers don't take the time to get fit for their putter. And if you basically ask anybody about golf, the two most maybe important clubs in the bag, driver, putter. Absolutely. Second swing, one of the things that we do, you do specifically on a daily basis, is do putter fittings. We've got some great technology here, but talk to us a little bit about why putter fitting is so important. Well, putter fitting is important just because it's, it's such a unique part of the game. There's an art and there's a science, and it's simple yet complicated. So there's so many variables that decide whether a 15-foot putt finds the bottom of the cup or misses, it burns the lip. So when we are uh, executing a putter fitting, our goal is to educate players on what their putting stroke truly is and isn't, right? Where do you align your putter? Does it tend to be a little right, a little left, dead center of the cup? Do you putt with a lot of rotation or not much at all? Is a putter the right length? You know, where do you play it in your stance? You know, all of those small facets of your putting setup and execution dictate what's going to happen once the ball leaves the face. So our goal is to try to kind of be matchmaker, right? Here's the DNA of your putting stroke. This is the motion that you use. These are potentially the types of putters that we can adjust to really blend nicely with your tendencies. And, and then hopefully the goal for all of us is that you start making more putts. And more importantly, you have the confidence that you can make more putts. You think you're going to make. I think that's what separates the best putters on the PGA Tour from kind of the average pack is they just know the ball is going to go in. And a lot of that comes from having confidence in the putter that they use. Yeah, no question about it. And we've got incredible technology at every second swing location. But here in Minnetonka, we've got the Studio B fitting studio, one of only three, I think, in the United States, correct? correct. Absolutely. So, you know, with the Studio B, we, we use V1 uh, software, which allows us to capture live video of your putting stroke with five different cameras. So we can really give a bird's eye view and, and perspectives of your putting stroke that you've never seen. A lot of golfers that I work with are kind of shocked and surprised that kind of really the motion and the stance and the posture that they take. And that's, again, another area where we can educate them. And it's not trying to change your putting stroke to look more like Jordan Spieth or like Tiger Woods. It's really just saying, hey, this is how you putt. This is how you address the ball. These are things that we want to incorporate into a putter so that we can blend the two of you together and you complement each other. And that can lead to success. We also use a Ping iPutter app as well, which helps us to attach some data to your putting stroke. You know, what, how, how much face rotation do you putt with? What are you doing to the loft of the putter as you present it to the ball? What's your tempo? All those things can help um, sift through the thousands of putters that we have access to and start to limit our search a little bit uh, based on the parameters of your putting stroke. And you mentioned it's, you know, it's really about matching the putter up to the player's stroke. And one of the things that we talked about before we jumped on camera was the fact that so many of the players you work with have an idea of what they think their stroke looks like, but it's not at all what it actually is. Right. I mean, you know, we, we love all of our customers. You know, customers always right in our opinion, but, you know, when you're on video, you, you can't hide, right? The good, bad, and the ugly comes out. And so that's why we use the videos. Helps us educate and helps us show golfers from a perspective they've never seen know really what is happening in their putting stroke sometimes they're dead they're dead right they know hey this is what I feel and we see that on camera but a lot of times it's a little different and that sometimes leads us down that conversation path of you know hey this is this is the tendency I'm pulling putts or I'm leaving putts short and we see what's happening on video and then we can identify maybe it's not an issue with their stroke but maybe it's an issue with the putter that they're using isn't just perfectly matched up for what they're what they're doing and and then we can start to investigate each one of those variables and and hopefully come to a better result. Yeah, and I'm certainly not making fun of anybody or criticizing anybody because it just happened to me. Yeah. I was on rolling some putts. If you had asked me, I would have probably told you I was more of a straight back, straight through guy, right. but the data told us I was about six degrees yeah. of rotation. Closing, yes, absolutely. So a little bit of arc in my yep. stroke. A little different, yep. The other thing I want to bring up that you mentioned to me that you see an awful lot is that players are putting with putters that are too long for them. Right. I think a lot of that has to do with just the way that people buy putters, which is usually just off the rack. They grab one, 
they notice the head style or the brand, and they just leave with it. So a lot of times being custom fit allows us to be more intentional about the length. What playing a putter that's too long usually does is it pushes you too far away from the golf ball. So instead of having your eyes directly over the ball, your, your eyes are located well inside the golf ball, which can cause alignment issues. The putter won't sole on the ground correctly. It affects the stroke and path of your putting strokes. There's a lot of things and extra variables that get created when you're using a putter that isn't optimized for length. So that's usually the first step in our process is trying to nail down the length and what's not only correct based on putting a player into the correct posture, but also what's correct based on what they like the feel of too. The great thing too about second swing is with so many, so much inventory that we have in the store for a player who comes in and gets fit, it's pretty much a lock. We're gonna be able to have something right here that's gonna fit their eye visually that they like, fit them, and if there's any tweaks to be made, you can do those right here Absolutely. in the store. With our, with our custom build shop, you know, we can change the length of putters, change swing weight. We have Mitchell machines that allow us to adjust loft and lie angles too, so we can pretty much take any putter that we have new or used and make those custom uh, adjustments to it. Uh, throw on the grip style that you like as well, and so you have a putter that's not only tuned to your performance characteristics, but your aesthetic preferences as well. So if you're somebody who's struggling on the greens, not making as many putts as you'd like, three putting a little bit too often, get into one of our second swing locations, go through a putter fitting. It can really help you out, help you make some more putts, give you some more confidence that you got the right putter in your hand, help you play better golf. James, we appreciate it. Hey, thanks. Thanks. Good to see you. Thank you.